हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सूर्य सक्सेना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आई एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्सेज कैंपस गाजियाबाद टूडे वील विल डिस्कस अबाउट डायरेक्ट वर्सेज इन डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग ओके सो टू इजिली अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट डायरेक्ट इन इन डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग वी कैन व्यू दिस एग्जाम्पल अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल विच विल क्लियर आर डाउट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस a uh, important which is an important topic in computer architecture in direct and indirect address okay so we can view this is a instruction format for both direct and indirect addressing first of all we are going to understand this format suppose we have two inputs as we have 4096 of memory words or memory capacity and we are having a uh, instruction format of 16 bits okay so total we have 0 to 15 that is 16 bits instruction format but this 4096 memory capacity is equal to to raise to key power 12 to raise to power 12 so so 0 to 11 that is 12 bits are assigned for the memory addresses and remaining 4 bits will be assigned to the op code but with respect to direct and indirect addressing the last bits are reserved for the i i is i is reserved for indicating that we are moving in direct addressing or in indirect addressing suppose for example we are taking the direct addressing mode or direct sorry if we are taking the direct addressing then i represents 0 and in indirect addressing i have the value as 1 so this is the instruction format which which is the basic nomenclature for both direct addressing and indirect addressing okay so now moving further towards the direct addressing suppose this is a memory slot and we have a number of slots over here this is the format for any instruction code with respect to this i represent 0 with in, which is indicating the direct addressing and add add is an op code that significant that addition operation is going to be performed on the operands but we will find the operand in this 457 address so the control goes from here to the slot number 457 and at 457 memory slots we have our operand suppose for example that will be the a so our operand a will be find in this 457 memory slots in this basic architecture of um, direct addressing the operand is directly added to the accumulator which is called as the processor register and that this process is going on so to cut in the short in direct addressing we have the address of an operand directly in the instruction format of in the instruction format on the address field of the instruction format comparatively to the in indirect addressing if we are talking about indirect addressing so look at here this is the very important concept over here that one is representing with respect to instruction format that i have told earlier this this is the indirect address and addition per operation is going to be performed on the operand but at the address field we have the 300 so 300 is the memory address for another slot so if with respect to indirect addressing i am again repeating with respect to indirect addressing if we are going to add the 300 memory slot we doesn't found the operand operand is not present over here what is present over here this memory slot have the address of another slot so our work is going to be long we are going moving further from this value 1350 to this memory slot 1350 and at this memory slot we get our operand suppose that will again the same as a okay so with respect to indirect addressing we are not getting the address of our operand directly in the address field of the instruction format as we are having in the direct addressing so this is 
a particular example of direct addressing and this is the example of indirect addressing. By looking these two comparatively, you are in much, in much very much familiar condition to the distinguish in between these two. Okay, And the same processor will be repeat at in the direct addressing the operand will be add to the accumulator if we having a simple architecture having only one processor register that is represented by AC and this process is going on. Okay, So this is the basic and the foremost most basic difference between direct and indirect addressing which will help us to understand the concept of computer architecture further. Okay.